that you let people in the community know that you're that you appreciate what they've done. So please, if you see these people, please thank them uh, tremendously. Uh, each contested sponsor and those listed on the prize pages uh, are people who put in a lot of time or a lot of money into this. And it just so happens that my name is first, Russ Oger, so you don't have to thank me, that's fine. Senator Robert Rath, the Lank Area Chamber of Commerce, First Presbyterian Church, Danco, Michael Browns, KMGO KCOG, The Continental Hotel, Amanda Sells at H&R Block, U.S. Bank, Centerville City Street Department, First United Methodist Church, Indian Hills Community College, Dance Expressions, Tara Schooley and Renee Cosgrove, Joe Zappolo Trucking, Tangleberries, Iowa Trust and Savings Bank, Fairway, Jamie Hauser, Tastefully Simple, Brittany Cosgrove, and AeroQuick Solutions, if you would please. Thank you. Okay, we also need to thank uh, our pageant committee. These ladies worked very, very hard over the last several months to get the girls out, to uh, work with them on the dance routines, the pageant part, and they just did a wonderful job for the last several years, many of them. So if you would please, Stacey Zappel, Tara Schooley, Renee Cosgrove, Jamie Hauser, and Sonia Carson, thank you very much. And uh, also pageant helper Taylor Markison helped out. The art students, who I would assume then worked on this thing here. That'd be my best guess. Uh, Samantha McDaniel, Carla Wells, Jackie Irwin, Brenna Mormon, Melissa Winkle, and uh, Cassie G. If you would please give them a nice round of applause. And to the many other people who worked behind the scenes to make all of this possible. If you worked on Pancake Day, not only the pageant part, but any of it, especially on a year like this when I know that uh, Joyce Bieber is back there, and if you see Joyce the week of Pancake Day, uh, you certainly want to stay out of her way because she's typically stressed out and frazzled and all that sort of stuff. And uh, today, she really did a tremendous job because a day like this is just really difficult. I know it's difficult on all of you, but her thing, her phone is ringing constantly. Her pagers going off, whatever you call that walkie-talkie thing, all day. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? So if you would, please, I think she did a wonderful job of dealing with our crisis today. Please for Joyce Bieber. Okay, as the judges uh, finish up down there, we are just about ready for that moment when we find out who is going to be Miss Pancake Day 2010. But before we do that, there's always this part that is kind of the most difficult part of the show because at some point, we know we must bid farewell to our reigning queen, and that's difficult each year. This year is no different. Uh, Savannah Drake has done such a tremendous job of representing Centerville, and I don't know that we could have asked for uh, somebody to do much more. She's been a wonderful queen. She's had the opportunity to volunteer in many capacities in the area during the year. She's done an outstanding job as Miss Pancake Day. She's a talented and intelligent young lady, and we know she's going to succeed in whatever she chooses to do, and we certainly wish her all the very, very best. And it's time to bring her out now. One last time, the stage will belong to Pancake Day 2010, or 2009, right, Miss Savannah Drake. Savannah, this is your moment. Pancake Day. To Senegal residents, it means getting together once a year to celebrate what is without a doubt the best town in Southern Iowa. And of course, eating delicious pancakes. To me, Pancake Day is another word for being proud. Proud of what we do, proud of our people, and proud of what we've built. Just like the ingredients mixed into our pancake batter every last Saturday in September, we have the ingredients mixed into Centerville to create just what a community needs to strive. Pride, values, and the love of what we've created. A tried and true recipe that has never failed us. I would like to thank everyone who makes this day possible and everyone who made my reign as amazing as it was. The opportunities I was given this year are opportunities I would have never had had I not received the honor of representing Centerville as the 2009 Miss Pancake Day. From seeing my mom and sisters crying on the side of the stage saying they couldn't be prouder, to having a little boy tell me to get over there and give him a kiss while we're used to his class, and to now, standing in front of my hometown, the people I will always remember and thank for holding me into who I am. You couldn't find a happier person at this moment. So again, thank you, Centerville. Your generosity is nothing but appreciated.
Well, Savannah, I almost teared up there. You came out with your brother. That was very special. How you doing? You doing all right? I'm doing all right. I, I, I teared up a little bit when I walked out, but I'm doing now. Well, I was going to tear up until you pushed him at the end. I noticed you gave him a <laughs> No, I said I was going to hug him, but he told me if I hugged him, then he would do something to embarrass me. So I decided not to.